up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm elliot delp today we're going to be doing a review on the core 15 but before we get into that i'd like to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button it'd mean an absolute ton to me stay up to date on all the different firearm reviews i do also go check me out on instagram there i post all kinds of deals and whatnot so uh it's a win-win for you i post a good deal and you follow me and it's how it works so let's dive right into the specs of this thing this is a core 15 this is one of core's older models um core has recently came out or i guess not recently but this is an older model core has an updated version so some of the specs of this one will be slightly different than some of the specs you see online but in general a lot of things are kept the same okay so let's go over the specs of this firearm 650 bucks is how much it's going to cost you uh does not come with the carry handle the carry handle is one of the things i have added it also the newer versions don't have a fixed front iron uh they have just the low profile gas block so there's two variations also this one has a one in seven twist barrel the new ones have a one in eight kind of a different variation as well so you have a traditional stock m4 very basic you also have an a2 grip very basic nothing special there uh, if you remove the carry handle you have flat top rail easy to put mountain scopes or whatnot on it and then you have your traditional m4 heat shield hand guard very very basic very very common nothing special there at all you have a one in seven twist 556 five, barrel on this one as previously mentioned one in eight on the newer models uh, with low profile gas block and then an A2 bird cage flash hider. So, I mean, just your standard run of the mill 5.56, five, typical, nothing special out the box uh, AR 15. So, uh, the real question really is how does it perform? So, when you're picking this thing up, it's, it's bare bones and you want it to work, does it? Yes, it does. So we took this out to the range. We've shot it a bunch. We, I ran it with the carry handle exclusively because I think it looks awesome. Works the best that way. And I uh, really got to test out these irons and it did good. This is a Monstrum carry handle. The ammo I was running was PPU223556. Um, that was provided by the sponsor of the channel, Kerr Ammo. If you are looking for some ammunition Kerr has you covered delp 10 saves you ten dollars off on your first order there's literally everything you can think of at Kerr. so hunting ammo plinking ammo and everything in between Kerr is sending freedom seats across the country so you should go check them out now back to how it performed you have your pretty standard grouping you got about a two inch group at 100 yards i mean it's 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 nothing spectacular but it's also a good decent firearm for what you pay for it. $650, it works, it's accurate enough, and I mean, it performs exactly how it's supposed to. Doesn't have the bells and whistles. Some of the stuff you could possibly upgrade are like a rail piece or, well, low profile gas block with this one. The new one has it, uh, stock, grip, you name it. I mean, when you're buying the bare bones rifle, you get nothing, it's all upgradable. Now let's talk about where it fits. So a core 15 really sits on the line of someone that's just getting into firearms or just getting into AR-15s or wants something they can tote around, beat around, not have, it's not a, a safe princess. It's something you can use, a tool you can use, whether that be taking it on a tractor or in the truck. I mean, it's, it's something to be used and to, you can have fun with it. It's, it's do whatever you want. It's not like the most accurate dialed in firearm in the world. And it, you don't really, you don't really pay for that where you're still under that thousand dollar mark. I mean, you can get good firearms for under a thousand bucks, of course, but $650 is still pretty entry level in terms of the price point And you're getting that as a, uh, as your firearm. So there is that to be said. Other than that, there's not too much to say about it. I mean, it, it does what it needs to do, whether you're hunting, truck gun, a self-defense firearm, it's, it's all there. So I really appreciate you guys for watching. As always, take someone outdoors, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.